All right, so I'm at the RV Expo in Reno, and I spotted this little tiny truck camper that's pretty cool because I have a new Tundra with a five and a half foot bed. It's really small, and the capacity is not that big. I think it, it can only hold like, I think 1,500 pounds. Same thing with Tacoma guys. You know, Tacoma trucks don't have a big box in the back, so five and a half foot is what you're stuck with. So there's not a lot of campers, but this one here would fit in a Tacoma or a Tundra with a small bed. It's a hard shell, just a truck camper, but it's not a cab over. It's just like a box in the back. It's all aluminum with fiberglass walls. Here's some screenshots of their factory in Wakarusa, Indiana. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But it looks like, yeah, they're made out of all aluminum framing and welded together so much stronger than the uh, wood that's stapled together. And the uh, interior walls look like they're uh, insulated with some type of uh, composite foam material and taped up as well. So a uh, certain degree of insulation for sure. That's pretty nice. And it sleeps um, east to west. You got some lights. There's not a lot to it, but you do get lights. You get some side windows. You do get jacks to help you get it up onto the truck. Let's see what the weight is, by the way. So dry weight, 850 pounds. So this will fit on any truck because most trucks have at least a thousand pounds capacity. Fits a five and a half foot bed with the tailgate down, six and a half bed with the tailgate up. Here's the shore power line right here. So there it is right there. That's your shore power right there. There's your tie downs for your truck. They're like ratchets. It looks pretty stout on the corners. But yeah, there's your plug-ins for whatever you want to plug in your radio or whatever your power banks and stuff like portable power banks and stuff like that you can do that so browsing around on their website it shows that they make a bunch of different models so this one here is their smallest model it's a five foot bed model which is awesome so if you own a tacoma or other small pickup truck that has a small short bed you actually have an option to put a hard shell slide in truck camper in the back of your tacoma and this thing's lightweight um, it's insulated, it's made out of all aluminum, so it's lightweight and strong, and it fits in the back of a Tacoma pickup truck bed, or like I said, any short bed truck. But if you own a bigger truck, they make a 6.5 bed model and also an 8 foot bed model. And the nice thing about the 8 foot bed model is you can actually get a gigantic bed in this 8 foot bed model. So when it's all folded up, um, from east to west, I believe it's 80 by 45 inches, which is good for one person. But if you need a king size bed, you just slide the bed out on those black rails on the side and you can convert that bed into an 80 by 81 inch bed, which is basically bigger than a king size bed. So plenty of room for you and your wife or you and your kids and your wife or you and your dogs, whatever. A king size bed in the back of your uh, utilitarian hard shell pickup truck. That's awesome. But yeah, it's just a nice little tiny weatherproof, waterproof, windproof, snowproof box for the back of your tiny truck. <laughs> and of course the doors, like your standard RV door, no window. And then on the inside, if you want to get out of the rain and the wind and the snow, you just hop inside here and you could fit four people in here. Two on this side, two on that side. Out of the wind, out of the rain, nice and comfy. Of course, you can store some gear up there, your clothes, food, whatever. There's some more storage over there. Uh, there is a battery bank in here, so you can run the lights. These are LED lights that run off the battery bank. There's uh, another um, wall plug right there for your cell phone charging or whatever, your computer. You could use this as a mobile office. Uh, I don't know what's inside here. I guess it's just more cubby. Yeah, more cubby spaces. Storage. Again, your battery bank goes in there. And that's about it. You could probably put a porta potty, you know, right here. Just as for storage, just put your porta potty here if you need to use the bathroom. And just put it outside the camper when you're at camp. And that's it. There's no shower, there's no sink, there's no stove. It's just a warm, dry place to sleep safely. So on their website, it shows they also make another camper. Um, I call it a topper camper. 
And what that is, is basically a pop-up camper that bolts to the sidewalls of your truck bed. It's not a slide-in camper. It's a topper. So the benefits of that is you get all of the cargo space in the back of your truck accessible for your hunting gear, your camping gear, e-bikes, inflatable kayaks, barbecues, firewood, whatever. You can put it all in the back of your truck. Something that you can't really do with a sliding camper, or at least you can't do it easily. The, these toppers, you can do it. And it's nice, too, because they're, they have a pop-up. So when they're popped down, they're aerodynamic going down the road for the most part. And then when you get to your campsite, you can pop the roof up. You have full standing height inside, so you're not cramped in there. And you also have a nice big queen-size bed. So that's pretty cool. And underneath the queen-size bed is even more storage. Their website says they make uh, these pop-up topper campers for small pickup trucks like the Gladiator, and they make them for a bunch of different size beds, uh, all the way up to 8-foot beds. So that's pretty cool. And I even heard that they're going to be making really small versions for like the Ford Maverick type trucks. And again, these are made out of all aluminum, no wood, so they're very durable and very lightweight. I think these ones barely weigh like 625 pounds, so that's crazy lightweight. I really like the concept of these. Pretty cool. It's uh, Soaring Eagle Campers. There's the website right there, SoaringEagleCampers.com. 